Hi Virgo, this is your reading for September the 28th till the 4th of October and welcome. I'm using the Pagan Way deck and I'm also using the Everyday Witch deck and the Angel Feather deck and the Queen of the Moon Goddess or the Queen of the Moon or Oracle and also the answer of the Angels. There is a, a lot happening in the autumn and also uh, in October as we have two moons. One on the 1st of October and the second one on the 31st when it's Halloween or Sam Main or Sam Hain, the the pagan or Wiccan festival of Halloween. That's when the time is when the veil between the spiritual and the spirit world, the spiritual world and the spirit world is thin and it's beautiful festivities and if you are watching the witches series something magical will happen on that on uh, the, the, the Thursday before the 31st um, so that will be the date let me have a look the Thursday will be the 29th and then we will be doing something special in the witches series episode also, um, we have just gone into Libra and we've also gone into the pagan festival of um, Maybon. That's why you see the Maybon picture at the beginning of the video. And I'm really getting into the uh, feeling of Halloween and witches and everything. It's great stuff and we will be starting the workshops in January. So I hope you will enjoy this reading and my choice of cards. Also, we've just gone into Libra and the autumn. So enjoy the autumn colors. Okay, the first card that you have is the Nine of Cups. So on the 28th, your wish might be coming true. Remember the energies, the time is man-made, so it could be, if it's not happening on Monday, then it could be happening this week. Uh, the time is fertile because you've got the Empress and you've got number three, so be creative, you might be creating something. The time is fertile for new projects to start. You might hear of a birth, or you might be and the birth could be a child or of a new project a new job um, refurbishing the house getting the house ready for Halloween or for the winter you might be uh, doing something a new project like I said the time is fertile to get pregnant if you are too mature to get pregnant you might be hearing of a birth of a child so if you don't want to get pregnant, take precautions. Also the Empress, she nurtures each seed that she plants and she makes it grow until it uh, blooms and then she plucks the harvest. And she has already sown a new harvest so that when this one comes to fruition, she can harvest it then the next one will be already growing and she'll be nurturing that as well. It will be a very busy time for you. You might be doing more than one project by the feel of this. And it's the first time I've had this feeling with the Empress. So it might be that you're the only one Virgo that is doing um, two or three projects and you're working really hard. You've got the Eight of Pentacles here, I see. You have refined your skills, perhaps, and you're being recognized. You might even start a new study. You've got the Knight of Swords on, on this card, and so news will be coming in. Perhaps news will be coming in a return on your investments, if you've put seeds in as investments. This could also be official news, like from a bank or a tax return, something like that. 
The news will be coming through cyber, that's email, text message or telephone call. You could also be meeting a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarium in the middle of the week. At the end of the week on Friday you have the Lord. So the Lord is the Emperor. So you've got a couple. So you might be coupling up this week with either a Libra or a um, Taurus. An other Earth sign. Okay, but don't uh, don't forget um, it could also be uh, no, it can't be because this is the big arcana and they represent the educar. Virgo is the hermit. No, this is Taurus or Libra. Or uh, the Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. So Libra is uh, Libra and Taurus is prominent here. Okay. You have the Page of Wands, so there could be a fire sign around you as well. The Page of Wands is Sagittarius um, prominently, but it could also be an Aries or a Leo. They will be bringing you news too. Um, uh, this news is about perhaps a job, action stands for job, or perhaps a hobby, creative, as the ones stand for um, action, passion, uh, creativeness. Passion is also hobby, because you're passionate about something, you could be passionate about uh, a career or a vocation that you have been studying. You might get news that you have passed your exam. Okay, or you might be invited to join a workshop, something as simple as that. You could also get news, would you like to go out? That is also a uh, passion. Somebody showing their passion for you. There could be a new love, although this is the general reading. You have the universe, which is the world, and you, the world is your oyster. And in this uh, card, it has a star or a bling. Okay, something is coming full circle, and that could be the news as well. You're going into a new phase, a new your abundance, your wish is coming true. A nine is also an ending, and where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. Um, the the Empress is a new beginning. So definitely there are cards that confirm that there is an ending, um, uh, an ending to something and a new beginning. You might be moving home, you might be expanding the family. These two cards means expansion, um, spotlight, um, going up to the, ne no not spotlight, going up to the next level, either in relationship or it at work since you've also got recognition. That could be promotion so that you can buy that house and move home. You could also be going on holiday because we've got quite a lot of quite a lot of cards with flight in them so you might be flying this could also be the karma card what goes round comes round what goes up must come down as the world turns round the beginning point will always do full circle so if you've done good or bad, you'll get it back threefold. If somebody's done you wrong, then they will get it back threefold. Perhaps you might have consulted the Emperor, uh, as the Emperor also stands for an advisor. He's the head of the kingdoms. He is higher in status than the king. You could be asking or seeking permission, uh, advice, from, um, sorry about that, uh, you could be seeking advice from a, uh, uh, somebody from an institution or a municipality, especially if somebody's done you wrong. So this could be a lawyer, but this, if you are pregnant, you could be seeing a doctor, but it could also be your father or a mature man that you respect. 
there is a new beginning again uh, you don't know all the ins and outs as the fool stands for taking that leap of faith without knowing the full story so there might be a question that you have to take a leap of faith take that leap of faith in the relationship to take a step uh, higher in a, a le higher level perhaps you might have been hurt in the past but your wish could be I want to get married but in order to get married you have to take um, the relationship from one level to the next and slowly build it up and build the trust also because we've got the Lord here the Emperor uh, it could mean an official uh, like the marriage uh, marriage uh, registrar and that's also a municipality and an institution so marriage is definitely on the cards of moving in together and getting the relationship uh, registered so that is a lawyer now that is absolutely beautiful this could be official news like I said but you have to that this is going to be really fast you have to take that leap of faith have that faith that you are making the right decisions especially after advice then we have the brown angel feather and brown angel feather to me that means grounding you are definitely grounding a practical approach is required now you can meditate on brown, you can eat brown food like chocolate for instance or wear brown and this will ground you and detox you. The angels advise you to focus on practicalities at this moment one step at a time. Like I said you have to take each level um, <coughs> in a relationship or at work in order to advance. For the Queen of the Moon Oracle card, you have power. Remember, use your power wisely and you are standing in your power. You've got number 16 which becomes a 7. Luck is on your side and your wish is coming true. Step into your true power. Shine brightly. Do not hide who and what you are the time is right to attract big things for yourself ancestral energy is important open your mind to larger possibilities big magic can be fraught okay wrought big magic can be wrought okay and that is full moon that card is literally full moon so this could happen on even on the first on the full moon as um, because you've got the full moon card and it's the first time it's come out and because you've got lots of beginnings and endings but it could also be on the Halloween moon so don't get stressed okay this could be outside the 4th of October that is what I'm trying to say so this week's energy might f flow with you throughout October this is what I'm seeing in in this reading you have power throughout October and something could happen on the 1st or the 31st since you've got the full moon card and you're the only one within the next few months you will see what it was that is um, what is happening so if you don't get your wish now on the full moon or at the end of the month it could be within the next couple of months but I have a feeling it's going to happen this week the energy is very changing and this is what I see with all the other readings and also very harmoniously justice is being done positivity a lot of the nine of cups and ten of cups new beginnings 
um, the death card is coming from becoming uh, you're no longer a caterpillar but a butterfly it is beautiful it's a beautiful energy that we're going into so take a practical approach and open your heart and soul to beauty okay the world is your oyster I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care, have a beautiful week and stay safe.